<laughs> hey guys, so today I am back with Amanda. It's been a hot minute since since we've had her. It's um, but today we are going to do a black smoky eye on Miss Amanda, which I'm super excited about because we've been talking about this look for ages. Ever. Probably. Oh, I just got lime in my eye. Oh, heaven help me. <laughs> okay, I'm good. So anyways, we're just going to do a basic smoky black eye um, with like a cool tone brown lip. It's going to be super fun. We, we, we got our new makeup. We got some beer, we're gonna have a good time, and then after this, we are going to be filming the Messy Mad Lib challenge type video. Um, so I will link that down below once it is up. I don't know which video is going to go up first. So when it is up, it will be down below. But anyways, let's start putting on some makeup. Woo! So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with the Steely Style Color Lock Intense Shadow Stick. And actually, no. I need to prime your eyes first. That's what I need to do. I'm getting I'm getting all sorts of excited. So I'm just gonna take her sponge and her liquid camouflage concealer that I bought for the first time today. Yeah, do you you just didn't own no concealer? I just didn't own it. I mean, honestly, you looked really really good without it. So I mean, thanks, girl. Yeah, anytime, Bobo. -bo. Oh, I messed it up. When you miss the hole and it just gets everywhere. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just going to blend that in a little bit. Your sponge is so soft. I love it. Yeah, this, this is the Eco Tools sponge. It's so great. Honestly, who needs a beauty blender? Nobody. Not this person. And this is like a quarter of the price. Right, honestly. I say honestly too much. Honestly. On <laughs> I do. I caught myself saying it like all the time at work and I was just like, shut. Honestly, shut up. <laughs> I say perfect too much. I'm working like perfect. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so we're gonna start actually with a transition shade. I'm gonna take this middle shade in the Kat Von D shade light eye palette. Um, good thing that all of my brushes are perfectly clean for this video. Honestly, I <laughs> I literally have a pile of brushes that has been sitting on my makeup or not my makeup counter my bathroom counter for the past two weeks so i was like just like okay if i set them here i will clean them because i will see all the brushes like there's brand new brushes that i used like once a month ago and haven't used again because they're just like filthy i use they're from like halloween looks mm -hmm. yeah and i use them for those and then they, they just they just like die in my bathroom waiting to be cleaned. This is in the shade Little Black Dress, so I'm just going to pop that on her lid as a black base. These things are great, but they dry super fast, so I'm going to immediately blend it out. This is a Delium Tools brush. I will give you the name here in a minute. Stand by. This is from the SFX, but it's a 167 brush, so I'm just going to not perfectly, just kind of sloppily blend that out, and there we go. You're done. <laughs> no, but for real, this is how my makeup used to look. <laughs> it happens. That's what happens when you're an emo kid and you discover black eyeliner. I went through that, like, the emo phase for like a week, and um. I would love to see emo on it though. I'll have to find pictures because it's just like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I got this Cookie Monster shirt from Hot Topic. Oh no, like, the Cookie Monster! Oh yeah, it was a size too small. Love um, it. And I had these black jeans, but they weren't ripped because at school we weren't allowed to have rips. Yeah. And then Target Converse lookalikes that I wrote on in red Sharpie. And then my hair is really curly, and so I would put way too much mousse in it, pin it down like this, bobby pin it, and then it would poof. And I looked ridiculous. I bet you were so beautiful. And then, <laughs> oh, mom, there's more. My mother told me that like we would get mascara and just put it on my eyes, not even open it, and I believed her that it worked. And I was like, I'm so pretty with my mascara. And then I would do blue eyeshadow and that's it. No other makeup. That's amazing. See, I would put like foundation all over my face, mm -hmm. including my lips, eyeliner, and mascara. And that was it. Anyways, I'm just setting that that uh, cream, that stick with a little bit of black eyeshadow. This is the black from the Kat Von D palette because this is the best black in the entire world. Like honestly, 
best black in existence. Okay, then we're going to take a warm brown because we gotta get some, yeah, we gotta get some warmth up in this bitch. I'm gonna take this warm brown from ColourPop. What is this called? This is called Top Notch. And I'm just gonna go right over the black, right on the edge, or like, yeah, like the, the edge of the black. And just slowly start blending it out really, really carefully because I don't wanna take the black up any farther. So we're just going to just lightly go back and forth and kind of go over the black a little bit too to kind of soften it just like a touch. <laughs> You're a goddess. <laughs> With these nails though. Yes, we each got our nails done. Matte black. Matte black. <laughs> okay, anyways. So I'm going to take, this is an Ulta makeup wipe, by the way. They're my favorite. Ooh, makeup they wipes. Good. Yeah, and they work really well. So I'm just going to clean up. I'm just gonna clean her up. She's a little she's a little bit of a messy bitch right now. <laughs> yes. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of the Marc Jacobs foundation in to give okay. me like a super full coverage. So this is the Marc Jacobs in Ivory 12, which is gonna be too dark for her, but mixed with the Smash her Smashbox foundation, it should be totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's the lightest shade. Oh yeah, the coverage on this is like insane now. Okay. Boom. You look a little crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> hmm? Okay, and then she has the Catrice Concealer in 05, the lighter shade. Just going to highlight a little bit too. Oh, that beard is coming back up. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of loose powder and I'm going to bake under her eyes. Ooh, is this the stuff that smells like coconuts? No, no this, smell, this stuff smells like grandma's. Mm. It's also not cruelty free, but I'm trying to use it up. Look oh, up. it's the bronzer that smells like coconuts, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. That yes. smells so good. When you bake, I drink. Because so I want to let that bake a little bit. So let's do eyes a little bit. So I'm going to take an eyeliner that I will name once I grab... I'm just gonna use this one. This is the Buxom Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Call Me. It's just a black eyeliner. So I'm just gonna smudge this into the roots of her lashes so that, that way we have the darkest right on her lash band. Look up. There have you go. tried the Marc Jacobs Club Gel Liner? I haven't. The only thing from Marc Jacobs I've tried is that foundation because. It's my favorite thing. Oh, really? I only buy this one. Um, it looks like this. Oh. And it comes in a ton of different colors. Um, yeah, I've seen, like, Kathleen Lights use, like, the, like, purple and, like... It... Oh, my God. Really? I love it. I don't even have words. I love it. Okay. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't come off. It stays all day because I put it on my upper waterline. Uh-huh. All day. What the heck? Yeah. Never move. That's insane. Yeah. It's easily the best thing. Then I want to blend her out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and just go above that warm color that we used and just blend her out even more. And I'm almost going like straight on top of it too. Just do your brows real quick. So she has Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. <laughs> Brand new. Bought it today. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm really satisfied. Excited. Okay, where's your brush? But also nervous because I don't have Katie to do my brows every day. You got this. Yours is so nice. Mine is so old and so dingy. Oh. Oh that oh that's satisfying. Ooh. Oh. Honey. Well, because I bought the dip brow and then never used it because I was just like, uh. <laughs> it's kind of scary at first. Yeah. That's what I did. So when, like, drawn on your brows with, like, a pomade or, like, with, like, some sort of, like, eyeliner-like thing mm -hmm. was first becoming, like, a trend, I literally would just practice, like, literally with my liquid eyeliner and just practice over and over and, like, just wipe it off and try it again and wipe it off and try it again. And they looked so bad like it would be disgusting how my eyebrows would look when I was practicing but hey look where I am now so that's why I like 
when I get like I when I get comments that are like oh my god like I wish I could do brows like you it's like do you realize how much practice was into these brows years so just keep up on it and your brows will be great I promise shoot oh hello gorgeous yes my brows waxed though girl I can wax your brows yeah you want to yeah I used to wax my best friend Lexi's brows all the time. In high school, literally, like, her brow hair was connected to, like, her baby hairs up here. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where we wax them so much that they don't, like, go, go up that high. But waxing her brows was always so much fun. I love Lexi. She's so nice. She's the best. If y'all want to meet Lexi, I did the blindfolded makeup challenge on her. So I will link that down below. But, uh... She's an angel. I love her. She's the best. Lexi, if you're watching this... I love you, I miss you, and come visit me, okay? Okay. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't know how to do brows on people a lot of the time. Like, I don't understand face shapes and, like, brow shapes. So when I'm proud of somebody else's brows that I've done, it's, like, it's saying something. I'm proud of these brows. I feel like you've done my makeup a lot to where you're, like, yeah. Yeah, like, I know your brow shape a little mm -hmm. bit more. <laughs> do you watch Jenna Marbles? Oh, I, I've seen, I've like seen some of her videos, but I don't acti actively watch her, you know what I mean? I love her. Shout out to you, Jenna. <laughs> if she's watching my channel right now, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> she bleached her brows, and it actually looked so good. And then she also shaved them, which is hilarious. But oh like, my god. See, I love Jenna Marbles, mm -hmm. but I used to watch her like back in the day, like back when she was originally popular, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we're going to highlight her brow bone. So first I'm going to take a matte shade just because this like warm color went up a little too high. So I'm just going to take a matte shade to kind of, um, kind of soften it and blend it down a little bit. This is Makeup Geek's Mirage and it's like a yellow tone. So that'll be nice too. I'm going to mix a little bit of white lies in too because you're just so damn pale that this yellowy eyeshadow is a little too dark on you, so... Hello! I'm here! We're only on our second beer, kids. <laughs> By the way, drink responsibly. I'm watching you. Anytime you're gonna drink irresponsibly, just picture this fucking face, just like... I feel like I can't look mean. <laughs> you look like a disappointed mom. Like, that's what you look like. Jimmy! J Carol! Get your shit together! <laughs> I'm sweaty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and I'm gonna take uh, Forever Lit. And you, oh, this is limited edition, but you need it. Oh, but ColourPop has a palette that's supposed to be a dupe of this. Mm. Mm. Hello, ColourPop. So I'm just going to highlight that. Where are you at? Send me PR. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I don't want to send me PR. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hold still, bitch! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> this is turning into a drunk makeup tutorial real quick. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me look at you. Oh, yes. Hunty, slay, god. I'm just going to dust off the bake and set the rest of her face with a little bit more powder. We're gonna dust the powder off with more powder. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown from the Kat Von D palette and just run that softly under the lower lash line. You've seen, you watched SpongeBob, right? Oh my god, do I? Hey, some people weren't allowed to watch SpongeBob. Like Lexi and her sisters weren't allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. Oh. And I know there's probably a lot of you that weren't allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. So I just have to ask because I mean, it makes me really sad because SpongeBob was literally my entire life. But and I just. And Carly. And Savannah. God, they all love Oh yeah, it. Savannah and I like yeah. will quote it at each other. They are just the best. I just want like somebody to narrate me. Like, you know the the like narrator voice that's like two hours later. Like I just uh zissy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should have somebody narrate um a makeup tutorial as that. Oh my god, that would be so Funny. Okay, so I'm just taking, if any of you guys are wondering, like, shut up, what are you doing to her face? I'm taking a warm brown. Um, right now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Cabin Fever. No, tan lines. Mm -mm. <laughs> that I don't have. Yeah. I don't have tan lines because I fake tan. <laughs> I haven't fake tanned in a long time. 
Hashtag tattoo life. So I just blended down her lower lash line. I don't want to do too much on her lower lash line because we already got a lot of black. So we're just going to keep it, keep it trill. Trill? Keep it chill. Keep it trill. Is that what the kids are saying? Yeah. Keep it trill is like a... Is it? I have a lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> it's a saying now. I don't know. No, but seriously, what does trill mean? Because I don't know. It's like... Hip happening? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just like chill, you know, like mm. keep it chill. It's just it's like lit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the one that oh. smells like coconut. That honestly is like a really good bronzer for you. Like you need to buy this bronzer. Okay. It's like 14 bucks though in its drugstore. Well, it smells like a Hawaiian princess. I would love it. Yeah, honestly. I am Moana. Mo <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. I need to watch it. The first time I watched it, the first five times I watched it, I sobbed. Sobbed. Yeah. Sobbed. Absolutely sobbing. I love that movie. It's so good. Like, it's so good. And just, like, so beautiful and magical. Like, when the oh. grandma comes back as a stingray and, like, her, her like, spoiler. spirit. If you haven't seen Moana by now, you deserve a spoiler. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, n I'm really not one to talk because I didn't see it until like, what, two months ago? I didn't see it until after you. Oh, yeah, because didn't I like be like, bitch, watch Moana. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm just out of the like, kid movie game. You know, I don't live around my niece, so I don't have like, an excuse to watch them. Yeah. Even though I do. I'm going to take a Makeup Geek Spellbound blush. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. Ooh. Yeah, this is a like tooth and nail cosmetics highlighter. It's like straight up like silver. Like straight oh. up silver. I haven't used it once. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this blush too. Just like literally the tiniest amount. And we're just going to... Oh, yes, bitch. So pretty. Ooh. I... Ooh. A little bit across the nose. Because it gives you a naturally flushed look. Thanks, Wayne Goss, for the tip. <laughs> I remember in, oh my god, I think it was middle school, this girl, uh, Ashley, who was just really great, um, told me that. Yeah. And ever since I've done it. So shout out to you, Ashley, if you're watching it. Hell I yeah. doubt it, because we never talk anymore. But that would be cool. Yeah. I don't know how long we weren't fil filming, but look how highlighted she is. We used Makeup Peaks Glitz, and then we're going to use ColourPop Point Zero on her, so I'm going to have you put that on, ma'am. Ooh, this is creamy. Yeah, it's the Ultra Satin Lip. I love this color on you. You need it 110%. Mm-hmm. I do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I love this. You look so good. It feels really good. It's, mm -hmm. like, really creamy. I don't know. I, oh, my God. I you really like it. Some of the, like, the ColourPop Ultra Mattes are, like, very hit and miss. But the Ultra Satins, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Okay, where's your lashes? There's your lashes. All right, we got some Studio FX Demi Wispies. Got her hooked on them because these are the prettiest lashes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we good. This is the Kish, Kish? Kiss Lash Adhesive with Aloe. My favorite lash clue ever. Right uh, look, <laughs> look at me in the viewfinder. It looks like one eye is like totally closed. <laughs> it looks like this eye is just completely closed. What's happening? Which eye is it? This one. Maybe if I pop my lashes up. Do I look wonky? I feel like these are <laughs> What's happening? Well, I feel like a freaking... Close? <laughs> We're just going to pop this guy on. Yes, I think we're good. Okay, now we have to wait for the other one. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'd be here forever. Okay. Can open? Oh, that went on so easy. Look at you. Okay, so all that's left is mascara. Ooh. Yes. Perfect. And then I use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, I don't use the waterproof because I don't like it as much. I used to only use waterproof because every time I laugh, I cry. Like, my <laughs> eyes are just really watery. Um, but then my roommate Carly was just like, no nah, girl, this mascara. And I haven't gone back. 
It might be yeah. my favorite on YouTube. I think it's my favorite. Like it, it just looks so bold. Yeah. But it's not too much because like you do have like smaller like eyelids, so it's not like crazy. Yeah. <sighs> you know. I love it. You look like a goth princess. I am gonna lean real into this whole phase. All right, guys. Well, this is the completed look. We got a black smoky eye, cool toned lip. She is slaying. Slaying. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, now we're going to go film that Mad Lib Ridiculous Challenge. So I will have that link down below for you for you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy Amanda and want to see her more on my channel. I know y'all already love Amanda, so just give me a thumbs up anyway. And I love y'all so much. Too. Yeah. I'll have her Instagram linked down below if you want to check her out. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video.